Hello everyone! Welcome back to another video of the Realistic FPS game series. In today's video, we will create a hit effect. Before we start, I would recommend that you join our Discord server. And also, for this video's asset, you need to be a member of my Buy Me Coffee page. Then you can find the assets link on the Discord server. So let's start. Go to the Weapon folder and create a new folder called Hit Effect. Then open up your project folder, go to Content, Weapons, and then Hit Effect. Then drag and drop the assets as I do. Then select Import from the pop-up. As you can see, our assets were imported successfully. Go to the Material folder and open up the Dirt instance. Set its parent to M underscore Smoke. and set its texture to T underscore dirt. Then open up the water one instance. Set its parent to M underscore smoke and set its texture to T underscore water one. Do the same things to the water two instance, but now set the texture to T underscore water two. Open up the audit folder and open up the blood queue. Set the audio of the wave player to hit underscore blood. And do the same thing for others. Then open up the ns underscore hit underscore blood and select the first sprite renderer and set its material to mi underscore smoke one. Then select the second one and set its material to mi underscore smoke two. For the third one, select mi underscore smoke two. Fourth one, mi underscore water one. And the fifth one is mi underscore water two. Now you can see our blood effect in the viewport. Then let's open up the hit underscore concrete. Set the first one to mi underscore smoke one. And second one to mi underscore smoke two. The third one to mi underscore smoke two. The fourth one to mi underscore dirt. You can see the hit on concrete effect. Lastly, open up the hit underscore metal. Set the first one to mi underscore smoke two. And our hit on metal effect is ready too. Now we are going to create the system to spawn our hit effects and sounds. So open up the weapon underscore base and go to fire event and open up the fire hit scan. Then from the first line trace, promote the out hit to a local variable called hit info.
Then get the hit info and split it into pins. Then check if the blocking hit is true. Create a new function called hit effect. Then add three inputs and set their types and names as shown. Go back to hit scan and call the new function, then connect the pins as shown. Open the hit effect. Get component tags from hit component. Add a for each loop for the tags. Promote the array element to a local variable and name it tag. Then get the tag and add a switch a name node. Add three pins and name them human, metal, and concrete. Then create another function called spawn hit effect. Add four parameters and set them as shown. From the hit effect, get a spawn system at location node. Get the rotation from X vector node from hit normal and connect it to rotation. Connect the hit location to the location. Then add a play sound at location node. Get the hit sound and hit location then connect them. Back to hit effect. Call the function we've created. Copy and paste it three times and connect the pins as shown. Get the input variables, hit location, hit normal, and connect them. Do the same thing for other functions too. Then set the inputs as shown.
Lastly, connect the nodes to the return node. Our hit effect is complete. Let me show you guys how to use this system with an example. Add a cube and duplicate it two times. Select the middle one, go to the details tab, search for tag, and add a component tag called metal. Select the right one and add a tag called human. Select the last one and add a tag called concrete. For better visualization, let's add random material to these boxes. The middle box is metal, the right one is human, and the left one is concrete. If your game has enemy characters, and if you want to spawn this effect when you hit them, go to the character BP of it. I will use first person BP as an example, but it won't work in first person BP because the mesh is only visible to the owner. But you can follow the steps. Make sure you selected the actor, self, search for tag, and add a component tag to the component you want. Do not add an actor tag. You probably should add the tag to mesh. In the first part, we check if the trace bullet hits something. And if it does, we call the function. And in the second part, we get the component tags of the hitted component. Then we get the tag from the array and we call the function depending on the tag's name. In the last part, we spawn the Niagara system and the sound. We also calculate the hit rotation using hit normal. Thank you for watching guys. It's been a while I know, I'm sorry about it. But believe me, I'm trying my best. I love you so much. Have a good day.